weeks, you may have seen these photos out of East Providence. They've been making the rounds on social media. Many people have said that these dogs are being kept in cages outside, even in the snow. All right, so we went to check the situation out to find out what's going on here. As it turns out, things may not be exactly as they seem on social media. Allison Bologna is digging deeper tonight. Allison? Patrice and Jean were told that the dogs there are all okay. Several agencies investigated today, and they tell us Based upon the dog's breed, they are okay to be outside. And when we visited, we found indoor enclosures on site available too. We've gotten a number of uh, a number of calls, um, you know, throughout the morning. These are the pictures that came into our newsroom. Concern from viewers about dogs who appeared to be left in the cold in these outdoor enclosures in an industrial park in East Providence, just behind the East Providence Animal Control Office. I think it was taken a bit out of context. You know, the dog's condition, they're, they're, when you see them, they're, you know, they're very happy dogs. They're, um, uh, you know, they're, there's no sign of frostbite or um, you know, hypothermia or anything like that. These beagles are used for training and hunting. Today, in addition to East Providence Animal Control, the state vet and investigators from the Rhode Island SPCA looked into these conditions as well. Even with temperatures dropping today and into tonight, we're told nothing here suggests that these animals are being neglected or abused. They made the assessment that there is no, uh, no neglect. So we had someone take us back here to get a good look for ourselves. In the back of the enclosures, we found doors to shelter into warmer, more insulated areas where the dogs rest when it gets too cold out. Inside, we're told there is hay and other comforts here, too. Because these dogs are hunters, these conditions, authorities tell us, are suitable and legal for their breed. Because of the type of dog and what their, uh, their purpose is, they are exempted in the, uh, there's a law. For other breeds, the law requires the animals to be indoors. Those who work in this area say they see the owner of these dogs here all the time, two to three times a day, caring for them. Based upon your experience, you believe these dogs are well taken care of? Absolutely. Absolutely. Your message to folks is, you're here, you haven't seen anything alarming? Not at all. Nope. All right, we checked just about an hour ago, and the original pictures that posted on Facebook, which seemed to have started all of this, the posting appears to have been removed. Allison Bologna, NBC10 News. Allison, thank you. Trust us with your story idea. Email us at news at wjar.com or log on to turn to 10.com and click on contact us in the connect with 10 box on the homepage.